to weather. Kamaka Pili. Happy Aloha Friday. Hopefully you enjoyed whatever dry conditions we've had throughout this week because some changes are going to start to take place later this evening into this weekend into next week. Here in Honolulu though, starting off the day with isolated showers scattered throughout the afternoon hours with more mostly cloudy skies. Unfortunately, as we see in these red boxes, wind speeds here look to remain in the single digits. But we're seeing around 5 up to 15 miles per hour across all the islands and as those light winds is one contributing factor to some showers throughout the islands mainly during the afternoon hours that along with some other elements we're going to bump up the threat for our ua along with thunderstorms to some moderate and a little more higher for our ocean conditions as we do now have a high surf advisory in effect for all north facing shores that's up at least until tomorrow morning but that does have the chance to be extended further into the weekend and again as mentioned on the top of the newscast flood advisory is in effect at least until 7:30 for the east portion of hawaii island we'll be keeping our eyes on that in terms of the surf, high surf advisory again for the north facing shores through tomorrow morning, we're going to be seeing around 10 up to 14 footers. High surf advisory clicks in at 15 footers, and that's what we're going to be continuing to see for the rest of the day. Four to six for the west, two to four for the east, and three to five footers rolling in with a south swell also coming in with this uh, down on the south. North of the islands, this is really what we're looking at a big weather maker taking place. We're seeing a lot more winter weather taking place, and that's the trend we're going to be stepping into as we continue to step into the wet season. Now this low pressure system will anchor itself north of the islands but a series of its cold fronts or its tails will continue to flourish as we progress into the uh, next few days ahead of us. Now mostly the cold fronts kind of dissipate or stall north of the islands but as we can see because these low pressure systems act somewhat as a vacuum pulling things into it we're going to see a lot of moisture south of the islands kind of get pulled into one of the cold fronts reinforcing it and that's really going to bring more widespread weather starting off the new week. But for now and through tomorrow, we're going to be seeing mostly scattered showers, looks to remain towards the east. But as we progress through the weekend, we start to see that moisture really start to get pulled up north and reinforce that cold front. And again, that starts Monday, which is only going to start a week of wet weather all the way through our extended forecast. So you have light winds, you have wet weather. That also means humid and muggy conditions are uh, in the days ahead of us. 92 degrees. Check this out. 92 degrees, that's the high for tomorrow. If we're talking about what we're going to feel like coming from Maui, 100 degrees. That's the first time I've ever put 100 on this graphic. I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> but unexcited where the winds will remain light, 5 again up to 15 miles per hour. That's what we've uh, seen at least contribute to some afternoon showers. One of the reasons why we're seeing that flood advisory for portions of Hawaii Island and even for uh, portions of Maui County as well. Now, good news is we are going to be seeing some relief to the drought conditions because of all the wet days ahead of us. Bad news, those winds remain light and variable. Even some southerly winds as another cold front starts to approach in the beginning of the week. Um, good news to top that off, once we get to Aloha Friday, we look to be getting some cooler north-northeasterly winds. Joe, I'll toss it back to you.